What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a spin transition in Vegas Pro 14. So on the screen as you can see I have Vegas Pro 14 up. This is a clip from where I showed you how to do a sad effect in Premiere Pro. And the clip on the right is when I showed you how to do the speed effect in Vegas Pro 14. Now in the middle you'll see here I've already split some clips and this is what I recommend you do as well. So you find at the end of the first clip where you want this transition to happen. Then I recommend taking 25 frames from that last clip. So you'll see right here I'm on 4.05. If I come across I now get to 5 because that is 25 frames to get to 5. Then you'll see for this clip I'm on 5 and it should go to 525. As you'll see just like that 25 frames. And these two will be doing the work for you. So what the first thing I recommend doing is right clicking adding a new video track and putting it on different video tracks because it will make much more sense when we come to the motion tracking. So we're working with this first clip first and we're going to come to the event pan and crop. Now the first keyframe stays the same but you come to the last keyframe where everything will start to change. So I recommend having the enable snapping checked. You're going to rotate it so the F is on the side like so. Then what you want to do is right click this and select copy. Of course you can just press Control c as well. The next thing we're going to do is come over to the next clip which is the different clip. So we come to the event pan and crop on this. This time where the position is we press Control v on the first keyframe to paste this one in. However what we're going to be doing is flipping it. So you can see the F is currently facing down to the left. We want it to face to the right and this will make more sense when you come to actually watching it back. So we're going to keep it like that and of course that is how we want it. Then what we're going to do, we're going to come to the very end or the last keyframe and press right click and restore. This puts it back to normal. Now if we watch this through frame by frame you'll see this is what it's going to look like. So we're going to spin across and then this one's also going to come in as well like that. So we're slowly getting there and another thing I recommend we're going to put the audio on a separate track and we're going to do a little bit of an overlay. So maybe about five frames like here. So we're going to drag this back like so, drag this one here. We're going to fade this one in and we're going to fade this one out. So now as you'll see this is what we'll get like that. The next thing we're going to do is adding some blur to it to make it look like it's a motion blur. So we're going to be heading over to video effects. If you don't see it then simply come to view, windows layout and select default layout. From video effects you want to come down and you will look for Gaussian Blur and I recommend using just the default one for now, drag and drop it. Now we're not going to be adding the blur straight away, we're going to be adding the blur on the last 10 frames. So you can see we're currently at 25 over here, so that means we need to go to 20 which is right here. So we're going to open this back up, we're going to come to the animation button, as you can see we're going to just lay down a keyframe and we're going to set this one to zero. Then we're going to come to the end and we'll set this just the horizontal to about 136. That's good enough. So now you'll see if I play this through it gives that effect. Now the next thing you need to do is copy this number by highlighting it and pressing Control C and Xing out of it. Now remember for the top track we need to come across 10 frames as well. So this means we're going to come across to 5 which is right here. We're going to drag on the default again. We're going to come to the animation buttons, right here we're going to lay down a keyframe, except this time on the last keyframe right here, we're going to set it to zero. Then this frame here, we're going to set this one to control V to the one that we copied. So we can now X out of this and if we play it through, this is what we'll get. So we also need to uh, adjust the first keyframe here back to zero like so, there we go. And let's just make sure this one's all good. There we go. Okay, so let's play this through using the arrow keys. We're spinning the blur and there we go. Just like that, we are back in position and we switched videos. So now I'll play this through in real time. That is what we get. And of course, you can have the rotation quicker. The way you do that, come to the event pan and crop. Let's say we want five frames, so, or 10 frames for example, so now I'm at 20, I'm going to bring this first frame forward to here and now we're going to come to the first frame up here, right click and just restore so we have a frame there. Then we do the exact same thing to this next track, 
So this time where we are at 5, we come to the event pattern crop and we drag this frame all the way back and you'll see just by doing this, the uh, whole transition will now be quicker. So I'll play it through just like that. And to me, that does look better. And you can see just like that, it is done. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. I hope it has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.